everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Georgia and I'm mainly doing fragrances for men and women today I'm gonna talk about a fragrance you guys asked me about actually you recommended it and you wanted to hear my opinion so here I am granting your wish to my viewer and this is Chopard Pink Wish now, to my surprise, when I started researching this fragrance, I've noticed there are two versions of it. One is Chopard Pink Diamond Wish, which was distributed by Coty, and it looks pretty much like this. Only the word is Pink Diamond. And the second one is Pink Wish. I do have a tester here, but I'm gonna insert the picture with the packaging over here. It's a light pink packaging, but it's Pink Wish and is distributed by BFCH Lux SA. Chopard, of course. So what I did, I contacted Chopard, of course, and I asked them about what's going on with those two Pink Wish. Is that the one and the, one and the same fragrance? Is it reformulated? Which one was first? So they came back because they're nice folks. And of course, told me what is all the fuss about, right? So here's what I found out. Chopard Pink Diamond Wish was created in 2005 and it is a fruity floral fragrance. And it's called, initially it was called Pink Diamond Wish. Now the fragrance has been reformulated and they came with Chopard Pink Wish, they probably considered Pink Diamond Wish is a mouthful, so they st stuck to Pink Wish. And this is the reformulation. You notice the difference? This one is a little bit darker than this one. Everything looks the same, except the difference in the name, which is Pink Diamond Wish, Pink Wish, and the color. And of course, the packaging is different as well. None of them are fakes and both show up on the market here and there. There's, a, however, a difference in the notes and I couldn't be able to find a clear specification of it. And so I'm going to give you all the options I found. For Chopard Pink Diamond Wish, I found the following notes. And the Pink Diamond has Pear, Amber, Neroli, rose, musk, tangerine, acacius or acantius, apricot, sandalwood, and freesia. The pink wish has as notes as follow: neroli, peach, rose, osmanthus, and freesia. What I could find on Fragrantica, and in the picture I had this fragrance. It was in the top, we have rose, osmanthus, freesia, and pear. In the middle, we have apricot, musk, neroli, mandarin, orange. And in the base, we have sandalwood and amber. Puzzling, right? Well, long story short, the notes are the notes. I'm going to tell you exactly how these two smell like and what's the difference in between those two. But not to mention, the creator is one and the only, or the nose behind this fragrance is Alexandra Jouet for both of them. So that's a known fact. Only this was first, this is the reformulation. Okay, I sprayed both of them on these two slips. This slip I sprayed with Pink Diamond Wish. And this slip I sprayed with the pink wish. Strip, I'm sorry, not slip. Same thing, whatever. Now the difference between those two are, this one here is more aromatic, more intense, more probably put together, more out, out there. And it's a really nice peony scent with really nice dry down in a sandalwood. So it's a really nice floral. I cannot detect any fruitiness to it. Probably just the aromatic thing to it, which comes probably for a, from the pear or the apricot. But overall, 
I know how peony, pink peonies smell like. My mom used to have them in her garden. Pink peony are beautiful and gorgeous and they tend to scent a little bit like roses, but it's a different, more like sweet scent. So if you know how peony smell and you like peonies, this is the right fragrance for you. The other one, same scent, only a little bit watered down and not as aromatic at this, as this one. So this one is more intense. This one is the watered down uh, reformulation. It's not as aromatic, not as um, sexy, feminine as this one. But it's also still a good scent if you cannot find this one and you have to find this one, it is what it is. My recommendation is go with the first one. If you find this one, Pink Diamond Wish, in this packaging, go for it. It's, I think, better than Pink Wish. But if you have no choice, Pink Wish it is. Really nice, sexy, feminine, good for spring, good for the beginning of the summer scent, but mainly for spring, I would say more like January, February, March, even in May, you can wear it. Beginning, I mean, early spring, spring and early summer. Great fragrance to have in your collection. This one lasts about six hours on my skin. This one lasts eight hours plus on my skin. So that's also a difference. But again, if you are lucky enough to find this fragrance, and spoiler alert, they still have it on fragrancenet.com if you have access to the website. It's still there, but you only find it as um, one ounce or 30 ml. Versus this one, I think they're 2.5 ounces or 75 ml. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I said it right. I thought it... Anyway. So, diamond versus pink wish. Pink diamond wish, pink wish. Both beautiful fragrances. Peony fragrance with a really nice dry down in uh, sandalwood. Sexy, feminine, you name it. Also compliment getter, by the way. And non-offensive. You can wear it at work. No problem. My name is Georgia. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.